Today I'm going to show you how I took these miserable bushes out from the front of my house. By the end it's going to look like this and I'm going to talk you through how I did this with absolutely no power tools. I see people going way over the top with power tools to remove bushes and doing crazy things like pulling stumps out uh, with their trucks and a chain. I don't really want to be part of a fail video so I'm just going to take these out by hand. Also, I got a lot of feedback from my last stump removal video about how I should pay somebody to do it and work smarter, not harder. Uh, so I guess this video is to show that I didn't really take any of that advice. Uh, I still think that that's lazy uh, to hire somebody else to do it. So I'm doing it myself. So the strategy on this uh, was to first start trimming through the mass of branches. I used a pruner for this. Uh, the bushes are so thick that the first few prunes or cuts may only be, you know, six inches, 15 centimeters into the bush. Uh, but pretty soon you get a hole that's big enough that reveals bigger branches and you just keep cutting bigger and bigger branches. And before you know it, you'll be uh, pruning the base. These bushes are about 30 years old. Uh, the house is about 25 years old and I think they're planted when they're about five. Uh, they're about 10 years overgrown, to be honest with you. I'm really to blame here. I should have been trimming them a lot earlier, but this is where we ended up, and so I need to take them out. Next up, I needed to remove 25 years of accumulated pine needles from around uh, the bases of these bushes. This was extra challenging for me because these bushes were planted in a rock-covered bed, so it was all just a mix of needles and rock. I tried to do this by hand, uh, but eventually I broke down and used an electric blower in vacuum mode. That's really the perfect application for this uh, electric uh, vacuum, I guess, because it has enough power to suck up the needles, but not enough to suck up the rocks. As you can imagine, I got a ton of needles out of this. Uh, all of those went into my compost bin and they'll feed my garden in the coming years. Okay, after it was uh, down to the rock, it was time for the stumps. Uh, I trimmed back the branches as much as I could uh, down to the stump using a tree saw and the pruner again. Uh, I did actually try a sawzall because everybody wanted me to do that with uh, my previous stump removal. Uh, it really didn't work too well. It might have been because uh, the stump was really green. You know, I had just caught a living stump. Also, I didn't have the 12 inch blade to be fair and I wasn't gonna go out and buy one. So I abandoned uh, that idea and just went back to the no power tool strategy. So with that, uh, now it's time to bring in the ax. And I just started swinging away and hacking at each of these stumps uh, until they came out really. The challenge I had here is I was swinging the ax into a stump that was embedded in rocks. I really tried to get all the rocks out of the way first so I wasn't hitting my ax on the rocks. Uh, but partway through the second stump, it became uh, pretty clear I wasn't being successful and was really just ruining my axe by hitting the rocks. Uh, that was kind of unfortunate. I had to take a break and did a bit of a hasty sharpening job to at least get a sharper edge. Uh, it didn't really remove the divots in my axe as much as I would have liked it to. It just kind of sharpened up those divots. Uh, but it was good enough, and I went back at it. To finish up this job, I filled in the holes where the stumps were with some topsoil and then used a hand tamper um, to compress the soil so there wouldn't be any settling after I was finished. Um, after that, just overlaid the whole thing with some landscaping fabric and covered it with rocks. So that gives me a clean canvas to work with now on the front of the house. Uh, I need to decide what I want to do with it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please give me a like if that was helpful or entertaining. And if you want to watch me fix stuff around the house, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. See ya.